My name is Dima Smirnov, and this is work done together with Justin Solomon at MIT. Recent advances in deep learning have been successfully applied to various types of geometric data. A common data modality for computer graphics learning problems is the raster image. This is largely because convolutional neural networks are fundamentally compatible with the pixel grid of an image. The convolution operator takes advantage of its regular structure. An equally important yet very different type of geometric data is the triangle mesh, a standard format for 3D shapes. Unfortunately, meshes lack the regular structure of images, making them unfit for CNN architectures. Some methods perform deep learning on meshes by considering the graph induced by the mesh vertices and edges. This graph can be input into a graph neural network where a convolutional kernel is applied to local neighborhoods of each graph node. However, typical graphs in geometry processing are fundamentally different from those in network science. Vertices have low valence, are related through long chains of edges, can be connected in many roughly equivalent ways, and can be deformed through rigid motions and isometries. Mesh decimation and refinement can yield dramatically different graphs despite describing a similar underlying geometry. In this work, rather than inventing new data streams for geometry processing to suit existing learning algorithms, we aim to develop learning methodologies from successful geometry processing techniques, creating a deep learning method specifically well suited for meshes. The overall task we consider is feature learning on triangulated meshes. Given a mesh of a 3D model as input, we would like to learn a map from a point on the mesh surface into a high dimensional latent feature space. These features should have properties that are desirable for the particular learning task at hand, such as semantic segmentation, mesh classification, and so on. We highlight some recent works that also do deep learning on meshes. Some approaches parametrize meshes into an image domain using, for example, seamless toric covers so that standard CNN architectures can be applied. Others propose improved ways to apply learned convolution kernels on surfaces. There, global data is aggregated through multiple layers, as is typical in graph neural networks. PD MeshNet augments the graph of mesh edges with the graph of dual edges, capturing triangle adjacency, employing pooling techniques inspired by mesh simplification. The mesh CNN architecture learns edge features and performs pooling based on edge collapse operations. Surface networks use fixed discrete Laplacian and Dirac operators as edge weights in GNNs. Wang et al. learn a parametrized operator but do not differentiate through sparse linear algebra computations. To design our learning algorithm, we borrow machinery from spectral operator-based geometry processing. This field contains tools and techniques that answer the question of what can we learn about the shape of an object from its vibration frequencies and oscillation patterns. The key construction is the Laplacian operator, which can be defined on the vertices of a triangle mesh from local geometry. By considering the Laplacian eigenvalues and eigenfunctions, we can say a lot about the object's global structure. Physically, this boils down to looking at the vibration modes and frequencies of our 3D model when it is, say, lightly tapped with a hammer. Our method is inspired by earlier work done by Littmann and Bronstein in 2014. In their paper, they make the observation that many handcrafted spectral shape descriptors, popular in geometry processing, follow a similar formula. They can be expressed as a scalar function of the Laplacian eigenvalues multiplied by the Laplacian eigenfunction and all added up. Depending on the choice of the scalar function f, we can get various common descriptors such as the heat kernel signature or the wave kernel signature. We propose to generalize this approach and, rather than just learning the function, to learn the operator whose eigenstructure is considered. This allows us to use an operator that is well suited for the particular learning task at hand, rather than restricting ourselves to the features that come from the standard cotangent Laplacian. Though this modification may seem simple at first glance, it actually requires us to make several non-trivial design choices. First, we need a parametrization for a differential operator that is amenable to learning. For this, we take inspiration from the universe of DEC, or discrete exterior calculus. 
DEC provides us with building blocks that we can use to construct differential operators. In particular, it lets us make a Laplacian operator out of just two matrices, the Hodge star and the differential D. While the eigenstructure of the Laplacian is aware of the global structure of the 3D shape, the Ds are purely combinatorial, defined solely by the mesh topology with no knowledge of the geometry, and the Hodge stars are diagonal matrices that depend only on local geometry of the mesh vertices and edges, just one feature per vertex and one feature per edge. Thus, we have the main components for our Hodge net architecture. Our Hodge Laplacian is parametrized by learnable vertex features, learnable edge features, and a combinatorial differential operator. Our system takes as input a triangle mesh defined by its vertices, edges, and faces. To learn the Hodge star nod operator, we need a feature per vertex. We obtain this in two steps. First, we compute per triangle features using a small, fully connected network which maps the positions and normals of the triangle vertices into a latent feature space. Then, we gather features from triangles to vertices by summing over the incident triangle features for each vertex. Similarly, to get the star 1 operator, a feature per edge, we learn a function that takes in the positions and normals of the vertices incident upon each edge, as well as those opposite it, in a fixed consistent order. Next, we obtain our differential d as a fixed function of the MASH topology. With those pieces in place, we compute our operator according to the deck laplacian parametrization. We compute the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this operator and project the eigenvalues to a feature matrix using another learned function. Finally, we get our output per vertex features as a function of the feature matrix as well as the eigenvectors. These features undergo some additional learning possibly being propagated to faces or reduced to a single per mesh feature, and a standard loss function is computed, depending on the particular learning task at hand. While this forward pass is fairly simple, differentiating this process in the backward pass poses some difficulties. In particular, we must differentiate the eigen decomposition of our learned operator matrix, a sparse matrix whose number of rows and columns is equal to the number of vertices in the mesh. Although we only need the eigenpairs corresponding to the smallest several eigenvalues, which contain the meaningful lower frequency information, rather than the full spectrum, doing this computation using standard auto-diff tools on GPU would require us to convert the sparse matrix into a dense one, and we would quickly reach both a runtime and space bottleneck on meshes of typical size. We solve this problem with a combination of math and engineering. We give a derivative approximation that does not require the full set of eigenvectors. Thus, we need to differentiate a mapping from a mesh to per vertex and per edge features to an incomplete set of eigenvectors to learned features. We thus make an atypical engineering decision and forego the GPU when training our network. Instead, by doing learning on CPU, we gain access to efficient sparse linear algebra tools developed for geometry processing pipelines. We use the first M eigenpairs obtained using a sparse eigensolver to generate our features and the first 2M to approximate the derivatives. We can then train our network using standard stochastic gradient descent with an optimizer such as Atom. Though CPU training does make each training step slower, because we are not constraining ourselves to GPU-friendly operations that are not optimal for information flow on the mesh, our model converges quickly, and the overall training wall clock time is competitive with other state-of-the-art deep networks. To evaluate our model, we start with a stress test. We, a, we take a triangle mesh of a flat sheet and generate a data set by creasing it at a random angle down the center. Our learning task is then to predict the dihedral angle along the crease. In this experiment, we do not provide our model with vertex normals. Only vertex positions are used. Note that all the meshes in this data set are isometric. The dihedral angle is purely an extrinsic property. Hence, the standard Laplacian would necessarily fail at this task, since it is only aware of intrinsic structure. After just 15 minutes of training, 
our model learns to predict the angle with an error of less than one degree. This demonstrates that we are able to learn a custom operator suited for the task at hand with properties distinct from the Laplacian. We then evaluate our model on the standard 30 class Shrek classification task. Our model is competitive with state of the art on both the 16-4 and 10-10 train test splits. Next, we train a model for semantic segmentation of the shape coseg dataset. We show some results from the chair, alien, and vase test sets. Our model obtains segmentation accuracies that are comparable to state of the art mesh learning approaches. We also perform semantic segmentation of the downsampled human body dataset. This version of the dataset, with meshes decimated to a relatively small number of triangles, is standard among mesh deep learning models. Remarkably, after just a few hours of fine-tuning the model pre-trained on the downsample dataset, we are able to segment the full resolution meshes, each with 20,000 faces. This shows that, thanks to the eigen decomposition step of our pipeline, the features we learn contain global information about the underlying geometry that is invariant to mesh density. Other state-of-the-art methods are simply unable to input meshes of such resolution due to a GPU memory bottleneck. In conclusion, we have proposed a deep learning on meshes methodology that takes advantage of decades of spectral geometry processing research without compromise. Our learnable functions act only on local neighborhoods and yet have a global receptive field thanks to the eigen decomposition. This work suggests many exciting avenues for future research. The most obvious next step is to extend our model to tetrahedral meshes for volumetric problems. We could also apply our, our method to general graphs with just a mild reparameterization, facilitating applications in network analysis and other standard graph learning problems. Additionally, we could consider applications of learning meshes for generative modeling. Finally, we could use other operators similarly parametrized using discrete exterior calculus. Thank you for your attention, and please check out our code, publicly available on GitHub.